So this is the moisturizing cool gel here and this is also in a 15 milliliters. Um, one thing to say that Sephora or La Mer has come out with these travel size bottles. Um, I think they just came out with these like last year and they're honestly awesome because you don't have to pay for the full product. I think the full product uh, goes for double the price. So yeah, they're cutting down half the products, giving these travel sizes. So it's good for people to try out before they really buy the full, full product for double the price. Uh, most of the, the half size bottles are really just half the price. There's no real deal to buy the bigger bottle for it. But there's an exception. I think the micellar water, which I'll talk about later, um, has a better deal if you do buy the larger one as well. So um, that one I would find. So this gel cream, as most gel creams, I think it's more of a water based. So I find this cream quite sticky. I only use this um, cream in the morning. The texture is quite sticky, kind of like any gel cream, um, very water based. Um, I do find this product to be really good in the morning because since of the stickiness, it does help um, applying my makeup and actually staying on. So this is a good like primer to have um, in your collection. So if you're looking for a day cream, so this uh, or morning cream, this is a great morning cream. It's not really focusing, but this is quite of a small bottle. I use this to travel quite often, so I just put on my carry-on bag, and there's no issues with um, all these products in my bag. So definitely, the pros are it's good for you know in the morning doing your makeup. It's quite light. Um, definitely not that heavy, heavy, you know, moisturizer type of cream oil. Um, this is yeah, very it's gel based as it is. thicker cream. Um, it comes out kind of, honestly kind of reminds me of my grandma, but um, it's quite thick. Uh, I would say there is fragrance in all these items. So if you are sensitive to fragrance, it's another thing to consider with these products. Um, so I usually do like non-fragrance items for my skin because I know fragrance can be very damaging for your skin. So yeah, just to consider that. But this creme de la mer, you know, cream of the crop cream, I do find it quite, quite heavy for me as uh, my skin is not that dry. So this cream apparently is not for, um, you know, people with oily skin. Honestly, it's supposed to just protect the, it's supposed to just be a base to protect your moisture from your skin just to not, you know, um, go away. So this is not really like an oil oil base but it is a protector so it goes on and it, I do feel you only need a little bit and you rub it against you know your fingers till it melts until it becomes like a white little texture and then you apply it and you pat it around your face so very delicately but I did find it was a little bit too heavy for me um, I'm a combination skin so it just didn't really really work out for me so uh, unfortunately I probably will not purchase this creme de la mer again. Um, I know I've heard such great reviews about it and you know people rave about how amazing this product is but I do think you know if you have dry skin or you have problem skin this is a great great option but I do find for myself I it's not needed for a combination skin. Um, I might use it maybe in the winter when it's really dry and my skin's like cracking in my nose so that's probably the only time I would use it. So I, I have kept this in my drawer uh, for my really dry days. Other than that, I don't use this for my night 